Now let's use the spectral repair module to get rid of this telephone ringing. So what I'm going to do first is make a selection, a time-based selection around not only the telephone ringing, but also a bit of this area past when the telephone rings. And I'll show you why in a moment. Now that I've got that selection made, I'm going to come down here and use the zoom to selection tool so that we can really see that zone a little bit easier. And then I'm going to hit Control or Command D to deselect that entire region. Now before I get into the spectral repair module, I'm going to show you an edit that is very, very helpful to make from time to time. Now you can see that most of the energy of that telephone ringing is right around the 2.5 kilohertz range, but then there are a lot of harmonics beneath that frequency and above that frequency. Now in this region where the telephone rings, there is some sibilance that I want to keep if I possibly can. In other words, this big long line here and this one are two different consonants, one of which is, well, I forget, let's see here. Eight months of those four years. So it's eight months uh, right here, the S sound in months, and then years is a little bit longer and it's in these high frequencies. So what I'm going to do first is mask out the sound in between those two consonants and do so on a frequency basis. So I am going to come down to my toolbar and I'm going to select the time frequency selection tool. And I'm going to come to this latter part of that file where there aren't any of those strong consonants. And I'm going to make a frequency based selection from the very, very top of the file. It's about that long. And now that I have that selection, I'm going to hit Control or Command C to copy that information. And then I'm going to make some similar selections in this part of the file that has the telephone ringing. So I'm going to make a selection right about here. And I'm going to go right up to that first strong consonant. And then under the Edit menu, I'm going to choose Paste Special and choose To Selection. That will take whatever's in my edit buffer and paste it into this region. And that will get rid of those telephone rings right there. But then I'm going to do the same thing to the next consonant over. And then I'm going to hold the shift key and I'm going to remove a little bit larger area right here so that I get just that sound, that consonant sound right here. So I'm going to go to edit, paste special and to selection. And that will get rid of some of those really, really high frequency parts of the telephone ringing. So let's take a listen to the result. Eight months of those four years. So we can still hear the telephone ringing, but it's because those lower frequencies still exist. But we have masked out those upper rings so that these consonants are still very, very strong. And you can still see that there's a little bit of that phone ringing left, but we'll get rid of that using the spectral repair. So let's make some selections of the sounds that we want to get rid of. Let's first of all go to the brush tool and let's figure out what brush size we want to use. If I hover over this strongest frequency right here, that's about the right size. If I wanted to change that, I could click and hold on the brush icon here and choose a different brush size. But as it turns out, 14 is about the right size to make these types of selections. So I'm going to make a nice straight selection across that lowest frequency that I can see. Then I'm going to hold the shift key and make more selections as straight as possible across these other frequency ranges, including the strongest one, which is right here. So I'm going to go through and get that. Oops, I had a little bit of a dip through there. So I'm going to come back and add a little bit more to this region and a little bit more to this region. Then I think that brush size is about the right size to go through and get both of these harmonics. They're very, very close together. And then finally, there's some more up here in those consonants. So I'm going to mark there and there and maybe there and there. And then finally, there's some right up at the top of the frequency range here. So now that I have my selection made by holding the shift key, I can come over to the spectral repair module. And what I'm going to do is use the attenuate mode to attenuate some of these frequencies. So let's do a few different settings so that we can audition what sounds the best for this type of repair. So let's go with the standard default number of bands, which is 512. 
except that I'm going to enable the multi-resolution so that I get a more high fidelity reproduction of the restoration. And then I'm going to leave the strength at 1, the surrounding region at 100%, the direction at horizontal, and then the before and after weighting at 0. So all of these settings are default except for the multi-resolution. Then I'm going to click the Compare button, and that will load those settings into our Compare Settings window. But now let's try some different settings. Let's increase the number of bands to something that's much higher, like 2048. Then click Compare, and that will load those settings. And then an even higher band setting, and click Compare. And now we can go through and listen to those different settings. Let's listen to the original audio first. Eight months of those for you. Now we did remove some of those high frequencies, but the fundamental frequency of that phone ringing is still there. Let's listen again. Eight months of those for you. And it's just way too obvious. So let's try those first spectral repair settings. Eight months of those for you. Now that did a pretty good job, but I can still hear a bit of that phone ringing. We want to get rid of as much of it as possible. So let's try the second settings, which had a higher number of bands. Eight months of those for you. Now that's getting a little bit better. Let's try the highest number of band setting, which is 4096. Eight months of those for you. Now that's still, you know, that's better, but it's still not as good as we could get it. So let's try some other possibilities. I'm going to come to our second settings, which had the number of 2048 bands selected. And I'm going to click the view settings to get those settings back into our spectral repair control panel. And then instead of doing a horizontal interpolation, let's try a vertical interpolation instead. And then I'm going to increase the strength by about 2. And then let's try those settings. So let's click Compare. And then let's do one more with an even stronger reduction. So hit the Compare there. Now we can listen to those settings. Here's the last settings that we had prior to making these vertical interpolation settings. Let's preview those. Eight months of those for you. Now here's the new settings that we're going to try. Eight months of those for you. Wow, that really did a good job, didn't it? Let's try the last really, really strong setting. Eight months of those for you. Now that starts to get a little bit hollow sounding, almost kind of like this. So what we're going to do is use these settings. So I'm going to click the View Settings button, which will load those settings back into the Spectral Repair module, and close the Compare Settings window, and then I'm going to hit the Process button. That will apply that Spectral Repair to that piece of audio. So let's close the Spectral Repair window, and let's listen to the before and the after. Here's the original file. Eight months of those four years, it was number one on that list. Oh, that's just hard to listen to. Here's the result. Eight months of those for you. And now let's listen to it in context. I'm going to type Control or Command D to deselect that region and then zoom back out. Let's listen to the range a little bit before and after the phone ringing. Seller list for nearly four years. In fact, eight months of those four years, it was number one on that list. So by using the spectral repair module, we've really done a good job of removing that telephone ring from our audio. Let's take a look at the beginning and the ending again. There is the original file, and then after the repair, our file looks like this. So that's how you'd use the spectral repair module to remove the salt from the soup. But what if you wanted to keep the salt, but get rid of the soup? Well, I'll show you how to do that in the next tutorial.